Right. Well, I bet, I bet you wonder where I've been uh, because I've been absent for a little while and I apologize to you for that because I've got supporters now that have been asking questions and of this and of that. Uh, what happened is I, I, I'm not ill at all, but I did suffer an injury, a serious back injury, and uh, it's really kind of thrown my whole life into a tipsy-topsy. And then on top of it with this virus and my not feeling well and uh, one thing and another, I let a little time pass so that I could rest and get to feeling better. And I do, and I think I'm getting better. Um, I do, every day I think I'm getting a little bit better. But changes have to be made. And uh, after studying my previous videos, I was a little bit surprised that I didn't care for them. Um, I'm all over the place. I really am. And I feel that I have to make a fresh start. And this is the perfect time to do it. Now, first off, my credentials. I'm not sure that many of you know that uh, I was born a sign painter's daughter. And I adored my dad. Uh, I followed him everywhere. And eventually, he tried his best to teach me everything he knew about the trade. I didn't learn a great deal. Uh, the building of signs and erection and certain things in the sign field I wasn't interested in. But lettering, most definitely. I learned how to letter and I became his partner early on uh, at the age of 9 and 10. I was helping my dad on certain jobs. So I have credentials and um, the purpose of my doing these videos and I think some people already know but the purpose for these videos is so that my grandchildren will have something to look back on to see their grandma in action and uh, I would like to be able to teach at least one of my little fledglings how to do this craft. Now I was so surprised when my video went on YouTube, I was surprised to find out so many other people were interested. That excited me a lot, and I don't mind at all uh, if you watch my videos for instruction, uh, simply because they're intended for my grandchildren, I hope you do get some use out of them. Uh, it, that, that, would that would please me a lot. Now, this particular video today has two purposes. Uh, one is an apology, because I do wholeheartedly apologize to you for being absent. And I also apologize to you for not being professional enough in my previous videos. I can see that I need to revamp, restart, and we can do this if, if we work together. Uh, the second reason for my doing the video today is for a thank you. Uh, number one, I want to thank all my supporters. Right now it's up to 720. I cannot believe that. And yet I'll take it because it's very exciting. And while I'm at it, if you're interested in my videos, uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, my intention is to teach you how to do a one-stroke alphabet, which is the most important alphabet you can learn in uh, if you desire to hand letter. It is the absolute basic start and I'm sure that I can teach you. I, I've done it before and I'm going to do it again. Um, but so I thank my subscribers. I thank uh, Jeff Sikora. He has waited for his prize for a good while. But Jeff, I didn't feel well and my lettering was pitiful poor. And uh, that's not what I'm all about. So I'm, uh, we'll work on yours together, possibly in the next video, and we'll get your prize for being the 500th subscriber. Jeff has been nothing but wonderful, and he sent me private messages hoping I'd feel better, etc. He, he's a good kid, he is. Uh, I uh, apologize to him, and I thank him for his patience patience. Uh, my next thank you would have to go to Mr. John Downer. Mr. Downer is possibly 
the most knowledgeable person I've ever known about the entirety of sign making, sign design, sign fonts. This man um, can't be beat when it comes to knowledge about the sign industry. Uh, he's equally as talented a sign painter. Believe me, he went through all these steps that I'm going to give as lessons. Uh, he's paid his dues, he knows what he's doing, and as a sign of support in my video making uh, for my grandkids, well, he sent me a gift. And uh, I haven't touched it yet because, like I said, I hadn't felt really well. But this is generosity that's just awesome. Uh, brushes for me are just the finest tool, and the f they're, they're like a jewel to me, is what they are. Now, these are flats, and he feels that at my age, you see, I. I I really overloaded myself. Well, I didn't. I can do this. I'm, I, I'll have no problem. But at my age, sometimes your lettering gets weak. Uh, you learn, uh, you lose certain talents um, for various reasons, and age is, is certainly one of them. And he felt that uh, my gift to Jeff Socorro, uh, my gift that I promised, a two-inch letter, he felt that I might accomplish it easier with a flat than my usual standard quill that I was practically born holding. Um, and he might be right. He very well might be, because in my estimation, uh, doing this alphabet is probably some easier with a flat. I'm going to review that with you, tell you what you need. Uh, I'll start off uh, well, I don't know exactly how I'm going to start off, but I'm going to start at the very, very beginning because I've had a number. Uh, thank you so much, John. Uh, I'm just overwhelmed by your generosity. I really am. Uh, no, my lessons coming up, my tutorials are going to start from the very, very get-go. And I feel the very get-go is an easel and your workspace. Now, you're going to have to have something to work on. I prefer working on butcher paper. Uh, this is just all taped up. My son has framed me a new easel in my little bitty space here. But my little bitty space is just fine. Uh, don't let that be an excuse for you. Size is not a big problem. Uh, but you do need an easel at a slant. Now my son is framing this for me because I realize now, let me set these over so that I can try them out possibly tonight. Um, this is important and he's framed this easel so that I can sit. I'm going to have to transfer over. I've always preferred to stand when I work uh, but that's not working for me anymore, it, not until I heal completely. So he's made me an easel to where I can sit down in a comfortable chair and do my lettering. Now, it, your easel, don't run out and buy you a two or three hundred dollar easel so that you can practice. That would be uh, foolish on your part. You can make your easel out of numbers of things. We might run over that again. But this particular easel is just, all it is, is two of these industrial uh, shelving units put together. He dropped it way down for me. Uh, he left me a nice shelf here with still enough space to put my knees right here. Okay, now that's fine because I, I'm only up to my easel about this distance. Now you'll need, this is extremely hard. I don't know where I got this board. Uh, it was given to me, I believe, and it's perfect for this. It's the perfect size, perfect everything about this. And what you do, um, see I can lift this easel and I can just put it right here because he's, uh, he's anchored a, um, a lip. Let me put this up again. There's a lip here with a small ledge. I may make that ledge a, a tiny bit bigger. He's going to be real excited when he has to undo that and raise it. But there's enough lip to catch 
this easel, this board, and it makes me a perfect easel. It's easy to get to, it's comfortable, I'm loving it already, and I think that I can teach from this sitting down where I'm comfortable. Now standing up, I've always felt you had a little bit more movement in your body and swing, but um, you'll overcome that and I will too. Uh, now, th this is the best way to learn. Now, I understand if you really truly can't get something that's slanted, you can even do it against the wall, flat. You're going to, uh, I've done a lot of truck doors and walls and windows and and etc, etc, uh, and they're all flat. But the easiest way to learn, quite honestly, is on a slanted surface, just about this slant. Now, if you were doing show cards and working a lot with a water-based paint or tempera, uh, you might even want it flatter than this so that you're, you don't get drips and runs and such. But working with enamels or what I'm going to do, I'll be just fine. So you've got your easel. I want you to go out right now and I want you to hustle. I want you to put together uh, a nice area to work in, something comfortable, uh, something cold in the summer, hot in the winter. Uh, shelves, shelves are nice. Uh, lots of shelves, if possible. Um, I'm just going to leave it up to you. But your first project that I'm giving you is to get you a comfortable place, a comfortable easel, to where you can spread butcher paper on it, and we're going to start our lessons muy pronto. Um, like I said, uh, I thank you again for your time and your patience and your support. I apologize for being gone for a little while. Uh, please like and support me by pushing the like button and the subscribe button. Uh, that would be kind of you. I'll be back. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping for tomorrow, and we're going to run through materials. We're going to take this from the st very step one to set you up with a tiny little work area that you could manufacture a sign with and uh, I'll tell you my favorite products brushes we've got a lot to talk about and we have to paint Jeffrey's gift prize for his 500th subscription uh, thank you so much and I'll be back tomorrow if I can get my boy to film me again I'm also setting up a tripod because I believe the tripod glancing over my shoulder here would work well. I've tried this before with no success, but I'm going to try again. I got a new tripod. Um, I'm also going to, um, I want to tell you, uh, maybe on some evenings if I have the tripod, I can just come out here and work on some of my work. Uh, for instance, um, something like this. Something like this would be some of my work. I make children's name plaques, very elaborate, and nothing you would do as a normal sign. But And I paint hard hats. You can find me on Facebook at Hard Hats with Attitude. Um, I, I'm secure in the fact that I can teach you the one-stroke alphabet because my grandbabies might just possibly need it one day. And I never, ever want them to be desperate. I want them to have something they can fall back on. And hand lettering, although it disappeared for a short time, let me tell you, you it's never failed me. Not ever. And uh, so I'm happy to teach you. Maybe some evenings I'll just letter. And you can enjoy watching what I do. Thanks. Thanks very, very much. I appreciate you.